I'm Christy with Christy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a general reading for Taurus. Alright, Taurus the lovers, ooh la la. What's going down for Taurus? Ah, judgment. Use your discernment. Use your intuition. Oof, seven of wands. Shady ass behavior. Something's going down, but ain't it all for everyone, right? All the signs are going through major changes now, right? Let's see, what do we have? We have a couple of Ace of Cups. Ooh, somebody wants to give some love. And it's from the Divine, too, you know, because it's coming out of the clouds. Well, in the right away it does. Let's see. Two of Pentacles. Eesh. Yeah, somebody might have gotten juggled with the Seven of Wands there. And then it, they may have wanted to marry you or you wanted to marry this person. But there was something going down here with this Seven of Wands here. Something that um, I'm not sure you'd like. With the Two of Pentacles, yeah. It's a burden. Somebody's got another person on the go here. Maybe they're married to them. We got the King of Cups. Let's see. What do we got, Spirit? For Taurus. Yeah, you might be single right now. Because of that. Yeah, you just want to be happy with the Sun card. Uh, let's see. Five of Swords and Four of Pentacles. So it could be you're hanging on to somebody and you feel defeated. And you're just working after that. You feel that defeat. So you wanted to give a cup of love to somebody, but they're juggling other people. And maybe you find out that they are married to this person. And you decide to walk away and stay single. You're just looking for the one with the sun there. You know, you're really looking to have that special connection, you know. Um, four of Pentacles is someone still hanging on or you're hanging on to this person maybe. And you're feeling defeated or somebody's been talking shit about you. And maybe that is the shady behavior you find out about. Okay. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles, so you just go back to work. Doesn't work out. Yeah. And you heal with the Four of Swords. Alright, Taurus, let's clarify. See where we're at here. Third party. I'm feeling it. There's someone else here. Yeah. Spirit says to. Sail away to calmer waters. Let's see if that comes back out again. Yep. Cut out the people that no longer serve you. And are no longer there for you. You know, on your side. Yeah. I'm just talking shit. Yeah, you want equal give and take. I don't think that's what you were getting. <laughs> Especially if they're juggling you. Alright, what's the Ace of Cups about? Hmm, oh, way too many spirits. Maybe this cup of love is coming to you. Maybe you have someone you're with. Mar maybe you're married to somebody. That's the Two of Pentacles. Yeah. This juggling is going to come to light with the Sun card there. Yeah, Judgment on the Seven of Wands. Yeah, you're going to make a judgment call of what is going on here. Oh, I thought I had another one that flipped over. What's the Four of Wands for Taurus, please? Okay. Someone from your past you want a victory with or maybe even marriage. Okay. Maybe this is the person you're hanging on to. And maybe now they're single.
you made a judgment call so maybe you're thinking of somebody from your past here yeah passionate news here of her being single or him they are single what's the sun card about Oof, tower some major change happening so uh maybe this is the tower moment to bring you two together okay with the sun the person whoever you're holding on to yeah king of cups here so it looks like there's some love here whether that's you or them what's the five of swords yeah there was some heartbreak here maybe um Maybe you talk shit about them or they talk shit about you and or your ex-person here, whoever you have this judgment call on. Maybe you decide to walk away from them and maybe it was this person here, this was the shadiness that comes to light is that whatever they told you, maybe it was a lie about this other person that you want to be with, okay? And there's heartbreak. Okay. What's the Eight of Pentacles? Why is that here? Yeah. They make you happy. Maybe you are going to work with them. Maybe you're going to offer to work with them. Yeah. You have to make a choice though. Or they do. About you. Or you of them. Once you heal. After this heartache here. Heartbreak looks like you kind of go through it a couple times because something gets eliminated to you and now maybe there was heartbreak between you and someone else and you're realizing that they were the one not this other person that did you wrong okay Taurus you know your story don't try to make it fit let's do some little messages here your soul's energy shines from within here comes the Sun we have the sun out, don't we? Yeah, right here. And twice. <laughs> Two times the sun's coming out. So there you go. I'm going to take that one. What else we got here? Let loose and have some fun. Maybe things are just too damn serious. And that's how you're going to have your new beginning. I don't know if you can see that with the sun coming through the window. All right partner will help you <laughs> so maybe you're supposed to do something with this person maybe you're meant to do something with this person I wonder Taurus if you're supposed to hook up with an Aries because the Aries has something they're supposed to be doing with their person maybe you're their person <laughs> let's see Taurus what do we have messages for Taurus what does Taurus need to know okay oh I think you're gonna like this Taurus sudden wealth think positive anything could happen okay balance your energy and spend time in the Sun there you go look within and hear your magic speaking so maybe you have a very um, maybe you're very intuitive and you are ascending maybe you have some ringing in your ears you're ascending see so that is awesome <laughs> spiritual journey absolutely ha <laughs> yeah you need to heal the past or past life situation through your inner work okay and your healing here okay <laughs> and then doors will open you have the key okay you have the key so keep that in mind I'm going to grab one more to round this out ah yes your love interest is your divine feminine and they are a divine person so they are all four queens wrapped up in one so they're pretty much an alchemist or a magician or very very spiritual and intuitive maybe even a high priestess so whatever truth you have to tell or whatever truth they need to tell you you need to both be truthful whether this is someone from your past you yeah it was someone from your past that you are hanging on to and you want to marry and have a victory with 
So Taurus, you're going to have to make that choice. And this is what's coming up for you soon. So I hope you liked uh, the reading. Please share, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Later. Oh, that's only 10 minutes. Maybe I can do a couple more here. <clears throat> So Taurus, yeah, so I'm just going to get you a few more cards here. going to have to see what we can get for you. Let's see. What do we got? Ah, oh, way too many spirits, but we will take this one. Ah, a new perspective. So maybe there's something you need to have a different outlook when it comes to this person that you are going to work with. They do make you very, very happy with the Ten of Cups, man. Angels are with you. So this is a divinely guided uh, union, spiritual union, especially um, with you ascending. Hmm. Got some that are turned up. Wow, that was a lot, but we'll just take them anyway. All right. Ah, Spirit has a sign, 1111. So if you wanted to have a look at that, which I can tell you actually is, it is about letting go of the fear. Don't, don't have the fear, have the confidence to move forward, okay? Time to regroup, revise, and stand up for what you believe in. So if somebody isn't, uh, which is this person here, uh, this, I kind of feel this has to do with this. And then once you have healed, you're going to regroup and figure out what you're going to do. Spiritual practice is just that practice. Okay. Connect with the cycles of the moon. So the new moon is tomorrow night, uh, I believe in April. So, um, yeah, it might be a good time to manifest what you're really looking for. Show your creative ideas. So maybe this is what you're going to be doing for work. And smile at someone today. Maybe that is going to get you in the door with somebody. Peaceful and play with, or playful, be one with nature. So have some fun. Yeah, don't be too serious, you know. Love that inner child and really, um... Well, you're going to awaken, so you might go through where you don't feel so good. Maybe you get headaches, or there's certain things that happen to you when you're awakening. And um, you can almost feel the energy pulsing through you where you're, and it's like you don't know what to do with it. And if you're like me and you're new to the game, <laughs> then, uh, yeah, it can be kind of... Um, different <laughs> anyways Taurus I'm gonna end it here for your reading I've been trying to cut them back so please like share and subscribe and we'll see you next time